good news and some bad news. The good news is we're still a bit, we're still at Cove Rambos and we're about to start our second season. The bad news is we've still got another 54 clubs to go and we've not made any inroads to that. The good news is the club have agreed to send me on a coaching course so I'll have a C licence. More good news is the fact that a bona fide Tasmania Berlin legend, remember that, say, from 2019, Football Manager 2019? Well, he signed. The bad news is he's taken all my transfer budget, so I couldn't do anything. So hopefully the improvement the sides uh, showed at the end of last season will continue on and we'll do some bits. Hi everyone, Chris here from Heat the Ball Gaming and welcome back to part 6 of the Rudy Gutendorf Challenge. And if you don't know who Rudy Gutendorf is, he is the man in the Guinness Book of Records for managing the most clubs and international sides in football management history. 55 clubs, we're on club 1, we've got another 50 to go, but Cove Ramblers are kindly paying for my first coaching badge, which will take 4 months. And if we start off well with these guys, because they showed huge improvement at the end of the season. Um, we actually were unbeaten in a few games. And if we manage that, then, you know, the next club is going to be a breeze because the reputation we're going to get for will take us up to one star, I think, when we get the national license. See, we're at half a star at the moment. We'll get a star rating. And that'll hopefully open up maybe one and a half star jobs, which would be rather good. And if we do well, that may be a, a chance to get move on. And if we've got a star reputation, it doesn't matter if we don't do well, we'll hopefully pick up another job. So you're here for the transfers because that's what you all want to see. This guy here, Owen Ashton, he is from West Brom. He's the only foreign-based player that's willing to join us on loan. And I thought, why not? Look at him, he's, he's okay. He's got first touch, passion technique. He's a, he's a bit of a playmaker, I think. If, if, well, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what he is. He's not he's not that great at anything. But yeah, I'd, I'd say he can do a job. He's probably better than some of our youngsters. So bringing him in, if I can. And then the transfers, as you can see, we've not done too many bits. Oh, the ice cream man. I don't know if that's picking up. <laughs> My little girl's just went out swimming with her mum. So <laughs> she'll be disappointed she's missed that. But we've got... Um, Three players to tell you about, Eric Abulu, the absolute legend from the Tasmania Berlin save in Football Manager 2019. Probably not worth checking it out now, because 2020's here, but believe me, he was a bit of a legend. He came on loan from Shamrock Rovers to Tasmania, Berlin, and did a job, and then I signed him permanently. Yeah, he was good for level five. And he was all right at level four as well. Well, that's maybe stretching a little bit. He was good for level five. Um, and as you can see, he's signed from Shamrock Rovers permanently. And I couldn't resist him. I just saw him and I thought, oh, a bully. I need to sign him. And yeah, he's, he's all right, if you can see. He's probably not worth £275, but I was kind of expecting to sign maybe five players for that. Yeah, the money I had left, but... He's, yeah, he's a legend. He's, we're back together. And as you can see, I've downloaded the badges now, so I'll download the face pack next. The face pack is massive, so it'll take a little while to download, and then I'll get the strips sorted, and then that should be us. I'll maybe change the, the colouring as well. Next guy is on loan from Shamrock Rovers. I got a team as an affiliate. I chose Shamrock Rovers just because they had the better youngsters, but I never noticed that all the young guys that I, I could get on loan all got released <laughs> at the end of the season. So I got them as an affiliate and then they all got released. This guy, Danela Bogdanovic, he sounds like a Bond villain or a, a Bond, one of the Bond girls, probably more like it. <laughs> and he's got a little bit of everything about him. He's a really good striker. He's probably the best striker at the club, but we're going to get Leonard the chance. And obviously I want to give Lynch a chance as well because Lynch is going to turn into an absolute beast, I think. So... Yeah, he's probably he's a decent signing. We didn't really need a striker. I wanted to give the young guys a, a shot. And then the beautifully named Ender Minogue. He's going to be a second-choice goalkeeper. Just I couldn't get anybody in to be second-choice goalkeeper. And our second-choice goalkeeper 
uh, Malloyd was number one. And he was only on £65 a week. But our second choice goalkeeper was a Gibraltarian. A Gibraltarian, is that what I think? He was on something stupid like £140 a week. So this guy's coming in on loan and he's doing it for £30 a week. Can't say fairer than that. So we're just going straight for the game. And we're going for Malloyd, Coogan, he's out of position there. O'Sullivan, Lyons, and Abulu gets his debut. Turner, Lamb, Rourke, O'Rourke, Jindia, and then Gareth Coogan, who's probably our star player. And he's going to be playing with Leonard. Uh, Coogan's not happy because I tried to give him a new contract, but trying to make him take less than what he was already on. Minogue's not on the bench because... He can't play against his parent club. They're Bray Wanderers. And we're just going to go for it. And everybody's going to struggle with fitness. Of course they are. Yeah, interestingly, I was reading the, the last manager of Cove Ramblers. This must be a guy that, before I got the job, left because the club didn't have enough money to wash the strips. <laughs> So, I don't know. That doesn't seem to be a problem. I'd have just taken it home myself, to be honest. Right, we owe them to give them revenge. Yeah, I'd have just taken it home myself and washed it in my own washing machine. I don't know what the, the problem is. If the club doesn't have enough money for getting it laundered or have a run the washing machine, then I don't really see the old problem. That sounds like an excuse to me. It must have been fell out about something else. There's a bully. What a throw in, that is what I brought him in the club for. Turner crosses it and Leonard, oh Leonard, nearly. That would have been a perfect start. Oh, I can't, can't believe we're getting to see a bully. And there he is. Show him why you're worth £275. And there's Leonard, Kane Leonard, and he misses a one-on-one. -on -one. That is not... What I expect, you know, he's maybe feeling the pressure of the, the two other guys sitting on the bench. And Lions with the corner. What a start. Let's remember, these guys finished third, I think, in the, in the league last year. And we finished sixth, so this is a start. Lions with a header. What a beautiful header. Right, Mahal. That was a dive. That was a VR. No, we don't have VR in the Irish second division. First division. Straight down the middle. Yeah, it really it does confuse you, doesn't it? When they it used to be good when they had the like, Premier Division and the First Division and the Second Division and the Third Division and stuff, but. Every division's got a sound higher than it actually is these days. Was it not Malaysia where we were at? And oh, Chindia offside. Was it not Malaysia when we were looking at the jobs and the Premier League was lower than the Super League? And it just confuses me. There's Sava with the goal kick. A bull is going to deal with that. No, he's not. Disappointing from a bully. Oh, he runs. He can run really fast, a bully. He always could run really fast, so. Oh, offside, Jake Ellis. He runs away, celebrating, but. Ha ha. <laughs> right, here we go. We don't need to see it again. And Leonard's not playing very well. Lines is a. Bulu, Avit, and Leonard with his pace. Oh, he skips past him like he's not even there. Oh, he did so well to the finish. He really did. Right, Leonard, you're not impressing me. Bogdanovic can come on. And if he doesn't impress me, then Lynch can come on. Uh, what we're going to say, dig in and give everything. Nobody listened. Nobody cares.
he's trying to send the ball forward with long throws. Well, why do I need to know that? Assistant manager. Right, here we go. Turner. Corner. A bull out. Oh, to Ellis. Oh, he's going all the way. The big boy, Ellis. Oh, what a tackle by Chindia. Must be Dennis Chindia. A bull out. There's Bogdanovic. Can he do better than one on one? <coughs> Sava saves. This is Bogdanovic's chance to impress. Otherwise, Lynch comes on. Coogan. Not see him. Over the top. Chindia. Oh, crosses it to Holt. He says thank you very much and punts it to Doyle. Cody Mahal scores, who's not playing very well. Abulu's getting a 7.3. Michael O'Rourke's not playing very well, so here comes Carol and Har 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 Harrelson. Easy for me to say. And Matthew Lamb's not playing very well. Gareth Coogan's not playing very well, so let's see who we've got. we get Keith Lynch on. Let's give him two strikers to worry about. And that is frustrating. Let's skip it, we don't want to see it. Shouts. Demand more. And nothing's happening. We demand more again. Demand more. I think we can feel hard done by here today. We've played reasonably well. We matched them with possession. Yes, yeah, fair enough. We're just going to go full on aggressive oh, team talk. Far from pleased with that result. We, should, we have to be beating Bray Wanderers if we're going to be making a fist of things in this division. Anyway, we're going to end the episode there just because it's Abulu makes his professional debut in this game, so pleased with that. The last game when we're in the Transmedia Berlin, he'd already played a season and a half with another club on loan in Germany, so decent. In terms of when we're going to come back, I'm going to play a few more games. I'll probably come back in this middle bit here, just because we need to move on quickly and get another club. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.